Hello and welcome to the Ultimate Home Recording School. My name is David Wallace and I tell you what, I'm so excited to bring this course to you as I've just been bugged over the years. Why don't you make the definitive guide to help um, home recording enthusiasts learn the essentials, kind of learn the ropes of audio engineering, you know, what sound is made up of, uh, how to record, mix and master, all the stuff that, I don't know, it's kind of assumed knowledge in all the manuals to the gear that you buy. People kind of already assume you know this. Well, well, I've been actually spending about six months putting all this information together. Or probably more accurately, it's probably been over 20 plus years of my professional uh, life uh, looking over the shoulders of giants in the industry and studios, you know, and uh, on tour with uh, artists like Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, and Phil Collins, kind of to see how it's done. And I've distilled all of that stuff down to five sessions that are contained in this course. This is not so much about, uh, I don't know, which button to press or what menu to go in on any particular recorder or audio application. It's really about the unchanging principles that will serve you really for the rest of your life. I don't know what we're going to be recording on in 10 years time, but I do know that we will still be using these same principles that are contained in this five uh, part course. We are also going to have some fun learning along the way. I really enjoy this stuff. I hope you, I hope you do too. So any, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. And here's the thought for the day at the beginning. Ready? If your recording suck today, a new toy ain't going to fix it. Now, I'm saying this with love. We're friends here, right? You can go out and buy yourself a new mic, a plug-in, effects unit, recorder, whatever. But if you don't have a good, solid understanding of the principles and best practices of recording audio, then... Uh, in my opinion, it's just money just down the drain. Look, I completely understand that you might need some decent gear if you're recording into, say, an old, I don't know, old Fostex cassette <laughs> recorder. But look, the way that most of us are today and the way technology is today, we can pretty much all afford some sort of portable digital recorder or software. So the missing gap is most definitely training. I feel very, very strong on this. Now, let me tell you a story that will illustrate this and probably save you thousands and thousands of dollars. I will never forget when I first moved to the States, uh, I was working as a salesman in a little bitty music store in Hollywood, California, when a guy came in with his son, obviously they were very wealthy, and they would come in week after week buying new stuff after new stuff for this, uh, for this boy, for the son. I would guess over the span of about three months, I probably spent about $20,000 that's back in 1988. Whenever they came in, I'll always remember the look on the salesman who he dealt with in the store. He was like, cha-ching, <laughs> every time these guys came in. My fellow salesman, Steve, was more than happy to sell the dad more and more stuff because that's what he came in for. Now, as a salesman, I wasn't making probably half as much money as Steve. I had the approach that if someone hadn't grasped recording levels and say, um, I don't know, dealing with a noise floor, then a $3,000 Neumann U87 microphone probably ain't gonna fix their problems, right? Steve, on the other hand, my fellow salesman, didn't suffer from any of those moral dilemmas. He just sold them whatever they were willing uh, to buy. Anyway, after the poor father had spent probably about $20,000, unbelievable amount of money, the son struck up a conversation with me and soon found out that I knew this stuff pretty well. It ends up that the boy really didn't know anything about recording, so the dad decided to hire me to come out and teach his son uh, how to use all of this equipment. So I'll never forget, I drove up to this massive mansion in Beverly Hills with ground staff and servants, and the father escorted me out the back to this huge guest house where he had all this equipment uh, it ends up that his son can't play a lick, can't sing, basically doesn't know, you know anything about this stuff. I'll never forget looking around the room and thinking just how much wasted money was in that room. So I spent the following days filling in the gaps so the boy could actually use you know, some of this stuff. And I recommended that you know he doesn't really need half of this stuff in here. So in retrospect, I probably wasn't the greatest salesman because I, I don't know, I would always question how much equipment people needed to buy. And instead, I would always encourage them to really know how to use the equipment that they already, right, they already had. Now, don't get me wrong, I, I love all this gear as much as you guys do. My point is simply this, the gap between where you are and where you want to go, the reason that your recordings don't sound uh, like the ones you hear on the radio really 
is simply a matter of learning the same principles that are in play in LA and New York and Nashville every day of the week. Solid principles and best practices that give consistent, absolutely consistent results. And the great news is we're going to learn them all right now. Okay, what are we actually going to be learning today? I guess the, the big elephant in the room is can we realistically expect that we can learn all of this in just one course? Well, my answer is yes. And I can say that confidently because I've done extensive research and been at this game of teaching uh, people and musicians how to use all the stuff for over 20 years. I've been through courses that teach all the minute principles of audio and electronics and Fletcher Munson loudness curves and all that stuff and they spend months teaching this stuff. Now that's all good stuff but I'm pretty sure that you came here to really learn the essentials, the stuff that will really make a difference in your home recordings. Now if you want to be the next Bruce Swedeen and make a, uh, a career out of being a say a, a Grammy award winning audio engineer, you'll learn a lot today but you'll probably need a year or two year long course at a major recording school in New York or LA. And most of us don't have that kind of time and money. Now having said that, we can learn a ton today. We're going to go through this course. We're going to keep it simple. I'm a simple guy. I'm going to break it down to threes. It's going to just be three things. How to record, how to mix, and master your songs. And if I can keep to task, we can really, oh man, we can get a lot done. Now, you'll see that this course is broken down into five different sessions, or five separate sessions. Well, the first one, we'll look at the introduction of what sound is and how it's recorded, then the practices of recording, like punch in, alternate takes, uh, bouncing, and so on, in the second session. And then we'll look at effects, mixing, and finally mastering. I hope you can see how each session builds on the last. First, basically understanding what sound is, then how to record it, then what effects are. Once we've recorded tracks and know how to use effects, then we can mix that down, and then finally we can master our track to give it that polished sound uh, that we hear on the radio.